hey guys welcome back to the channel so this is my second video look at me being consistent with y'all on my youtube channel after i deleted everything so watch part one well it's not really part one but watch the first video on my channel even though it's not my real first video on my channel but it is the first video that i re-uploaded on my channel after jesus christ told me to delete everything and start fresh so with that being said let's get into this video you are chosen If you're new here, welcome to my channel. This is the page where I help you live as an abundant version of yourself. That was my old catchphrase, but the new one is that we're coming to the end of ourselves and we are losing it all for Jesus Christ and we're finding it all back in him. And that's where the true abundance comes from. So this video, baby, this video, I've been wanting to do this video for a while. And the reason why God might not have let me do this video is because I need to redo my page and all of that stuff so that I could come and tell y'all this story. So this story is about how I accidentally came into agreement with the spirit of confusion and anxiety. And I'm trying to tell y'all what happened to me so it doesn't ever happen to y'all and y'all can be aware because I had no clue that this was a thing. Like, God literally taught me this whole principle in this in this concept because I had no clue that you could accidentally come into agreement with the attacks that people are sending out against you. It don't always look like witchcraft. It don't always look like a demonic altar. Sometimes it looks like words. It looks like suggestions. It looks like wise counsel and you come into agreement with it and then whatever spirit was sent out to give whatever the per that person said to you, now that spirit is in full operation and it's now able to attack you. So let's just get into what happened. To get started, we're going to read a scripture and our scripture is from Psalm 1 and I'm reading it from the NLT version. It says, oh, the joys of those who do not follow the advice of the wicked or stand around with the sinners or join in with the mockers, but they delight in the law of the Lord, meditating on it day and night. They are like trees planted along the riverbank bearing fruit each season. Their leaves never wither and they prosper in all they do but not the wicked. They are like the worst worthless chaff scattered by the wind. They will be condemned at the time of judgment. Sinners will have no place among the godly for the Lord watches over the path of the godly, but the path of the wicked leads to destruction. I don't know about y'all, but I wanna be the blessed one in New King James Version said, blessed is the one who sit not in the council of the ungodly. I want to be the blessed one who is not sitting in any ungodly council. We got to be very careful who we let speak to us, speak over us in the season. Like be very, very, very careful with what comes out of the mouth of people and that goes into your ear and your eye gates. All right. So I had to read the scripture first, being obedient. And then now I'm going to tell you all the story. All right. So a few months ago, the Holy Spirit released me to share a message with this church. I shared it on TikTok. I'm not posting a link or any of that, but it's on my TikTok page where I, I shared a message about a dream that the Holy Spirit gave me about this church. Um, it's a church. It's called Kingdom Full Tabernacle. And I am saying names. I'm not putting no um, aliases. I'm, not, I'm saying names. We're not. I'm, I don't do that. I don't know where we got that from, but being... 100% bold or whatever the case may be um I'm not a coward I'm literally going to share names because why would I not so the church was called King kingdom full tabernacle and honestly the message was just to bring them to a place of repentance for the idolatry um and a few other things that was going on in church personally not that I don't care. I always care about God's people. Like I definitely like I, I want to say I care because Jesus Christ cares about all of us. And his, his goal is for all of us to repent and turn back to him. So they decided that they wanted to continue rebelling. They just it was so bad that TikTok had to put anti-bullying like um, protection on my video because they were, I guess, bullying me. I personally don't care. Um, it's not that big of a deal to me. God told me to send the message. I was a little bit nervous to do it at first just because I've never done anything like that before because that's just not my, that's not my, that's not what I would choose to do. Let me say that. That's not my thing. Um, but whatever. God sent me to do the video. I was going to be obedient. I did the video. They had so much to say. The first lady of the church had so much to say. Now, what she said is important because it translates into also into how the spirit of confusion and anxiety was set out against me. 
So um, she wrote on one of my videos. I'm gonna try to find a receipt so I can post it on the video just to make sure I'm not misquoting um, anything that was said. But she said, um, she said something along the lines of me being confused. And I was like, okay, I rebuked that. I'm not confused. Um, and then I don't remember if she said something about anxiety, but I feel like she did. If I can find a receipt, I'll add it in this video as well, just to make sure I'm not misconstruing her words or anything like that. I do remember her saying something about me being confused or scattered or whatever the case may be. All right, so there's that. Now there's a girl that goes to that church that I, I knew, I met her when I was in Philly. She's from Philly, this church is in Connecticut. Uh, mind you, but the, this girl goes to the church. I follow her on, on social media for a long time. I always commended her for going to the church because I actually like the church. I was watching them on YouTube and things like that, but at a certain point, I just stopped. I didn't know why I stopped, but maybe it was the Holy Spirit, of course, disconnected me, whatever the case may be. So I know the, the girl from Philly, the young lady from Philly, and I know she went to the church. So when all of this was happening, when God was giving me these messages about idolatry, it was a very severe warning that a flood was coming if these people did not repent and get it together. So anybody that I love, like, even though I don't know the girl Brittany like that, like, she's still somebody that I'm like, oh, God bless you, you know, whatever the case may be. So I'm going to try to make sure that she's okay. I sent her a message. Um, I'm going to try to put all the receipts in the video just to make sure, like I said, I'm not misquoting anything. But I sent her a message. I was like, hey, I'm sure you've seen everything that was going on on TikTok with me, like talking about your church. But just be careful and just be prayerful about everything that's going on. She didn't respond. So... A week goes by and then she sends me a message and was like, oh, I left the church. Um, but then she ends up sending, she, she said, I left the church. I don't even go there no more, something, something. And um, then she says, she sends me a video about waist speed. So if you guys watch my first video that I re-uploaded, many, many of you guys might be new, but I sell... I sell waist beads or I sold waist beads, whatever. Watch part, watch the first video so you can know what's going on with that. But she sent me a video about waist beads, about how waist beads were demonic from um, another lady. I think her page is The Cloud and the Fire. Um, and she basically talked about how waist beads originate from the Yoruba culture and the Yoruba culture is demonic. So why would I wear waist beads? Because it comes from Yoruba culture and Yoruba culture is demonic. So waist beads are demonic. That was her conclusion. So some of the things that she said in the video were true. And I was like, okay, like I agree with some of the things that the lady said in her video, but there are some things that I don't agree with. I'm not going to get into the whole waist bead discussion or debate because that's not what God called me here to do. I don't feel like that. And that's that's also that's me not being obedient. So back to Brittany. She sent me that video and I was like, you know, there are some things um, in this video that I agree with. Um, but she was like, just pray to God about it and fast about it. Um, but whatever i don't know i'm gonna try to add the receipts but she pretty much was like just praying fast about it god could you know give you a new business whatever the case may be so i said thank you um and i also let her know that there are some things that i agree with and some things that i don't agree with that was that was my mistake and i'm not saying that the cloud and the fire lady her page is or her video was intended for anything to confuse me but Brittany used that video to send out a spirit of confusion and anxiety against me and honestly i'm not i'm, I'm not gonna lie i i i want to say me 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 always wanting to see good in people i want to say that she didn't send it out with those intentions but the spirit operating inside of her allowed that to happen i want to say that she could have deliberately did it but me me being the person that i am i don't want to believe that that's what that's what happened or whatever but nonetheless that's what happened immediately when she sent me a message i immediately got anxiety i should have known from there that it wasn't from god i should have known from that moment that it wasn't from god but immediately when she sent me a message i got anxiety and anxiety is not something that i struggle with like it's something as a human being that i go through here and there but i'm very good at keeping it managed so that it's not something that rules my life now when this girl sent me this video i'm watching the video i have anxiety the whole entire time i'm watching this video and then you know from that video me watching that video for like the next few weeks i was so confused and according to i believe is 
first corinthians let me double check according according to first corinthians 14 and 33 we know that for god is not the author of confusion but of peace as in all the churches of the saints the context of that scripture was because the people in the Corinth church was trying to say that they was in the church confused they was all speaking over one another whatever it was just disorder in the church and they was trying to blame the holy spirit but Paul cleared that up and said, God is not the author of confusion. So where there is like spiritual confusion, this is not God. So from that, I know that if I'm feeling confused and I'm feeling anxious, because God told me in Philippians that to, I need to be anxious about nothing. I know that whatever this lady sent out against me was an attack. It was a dagger against me to cause me to be confused, to cause me to be anxious. And it was not anything with good intentions. Because if it had good intentions, I would not feel any of these things. I would feel the Holy Spirit that would have then led me into some path of wisdom where I was able to draw some conclusion that was going to help me figure out what I was going to do with my waist bead business. That's the story of pretty much what happened. Just so you guys have a little bit of backstory about how she sent out these daggers of confusion and anxiety now this tied into what the first lady had said because i had then found out that britney was like the adjutant for the first lady or whatever the case may be which is like somebody who's like the right hand the wingman whatever of the pastor or the first lady like she works for the first lady she's close with her so i'm sure when all of this stuff happened they had some type of conversation about me and i don't want to be a false witness and say that i know that they had conversation with me but this is me assuming i have to make that very clear that i'm just assuming that they had some type of conversation regarding the video that i sent out and i know that what britney said to me and what the first lady said to me was connected because it was the same spirit that was trying to cause confusion and anxiety now i was able to see it when the first lady sent it and i rebuked it so it couldn't come near me but when britney sent it it was a little bit more conniving it was a little bit more sneaky so i just thought that she was making a suggestion into my life y'all we have to be very 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 careful with these suggestions that we are taking from people anybody who's in a space where they're sitting in a cult they're sitting under leadership that is not godly they're sitting in a place where god is about to send a flood to cannot make a suggestion about something so big and so major in my life i don't even know if they can make a suggestion about anything but just using wisdom we're not going to take suggestions about somebody that's in the middle of a cult like come on let's let's be smart here okay so that's what happened with the, the the two of their words being connected even if they had no discussion with each other it was still the same spirit that was sent out and and that was something that i came to the realization with with the holy spirit because he told me that the first lady tried to send it out it didn't work so then you know britney had to send it out because that spirit because they're connected in in leadership and things like that that spirit is operating inside of them they wanted to throw out those daggers at me so it was able to you know go through both of them in different ways in all of this i want to remind you guys that what the enemy meant for bad god will turn it around and use it for your good so remember that i said at first i didn't really understand like this whole coming to agreement thing and listening to people's words and things like that but what the enemy meant for bad god will use it for good so god cleared me from that confusion and that anxiety and i did actually end up stopping my waste business but not for the reasons that britney sent me that video about or anything like that but it's because i had to choose to put down my business which was an idol for me and follow jesus christ so that i can do my ministry more and focus more on that and focus on building the kingdom of god but in that he taught me not to listen to people not to listen to the counsel of the ungodly not to listen to these people who are coming to send daggers to you and it's going to sound beautiful sometimes sometimes it's going to sound so subtle somebody's just going to be like oh i think you should do this this way or do this that way if the holy spirit did not tell you to do it this way or that way or you did not get clearance from the holy spirit do not listen to any body there are going to be people of higher ranking authority that are going to be able to speak into they have the opportunity to speak into your life but if it did not come with clearance from the holy spirit i warn y'all do not listen to them there's a story in the bible about a boy who um jesus sent out as a prophet to go and i believe give a message i don't want to misquote the story i know the story but i don't know where it's at and i didn't research it before i'm saying this this is just coming to me as i'm talking to y'all but jesus christ sent him out to go and give a message and jesus said come straight back 
and he met a prophet on the way, a prophet that was respected by him, and he stopped with that prophet, and I believe he ate dinner with him, and then he died. Don't die in this season being disobedient because you want to listen to people that have higher rank and higher authorities. No, if Jesus said come back, he said come back. Whatever it is that Jesus Christ told you to do, he said he used the foolish things to confound the wise. Sometimes it's not going to make sense to people. Sometimes whatever God told you to do is going to look funny in the eyes of other people. But you need to make sure that you trust the voice of the Holy Spirit in this season. And you do whatever it is that he's calling you to do. No matter if it looks weird to people. No matter if people think it's, it's funny or it's out of order or whatever the case may be. If you do not get clearance from the Holy Spirit about whatever this person is saying. Do not take it on because you will be in for a heap of... Of trouble everybody does not know how to fight battles the way I might know how to fight battles everybody does not know how to fight off anxiety the way I may know how to fight off anxiety and I don't want you guys to suffer because you want to listen to everybody the word says don't be tossed to and fro with everyone the doctrine and that is more specific to talking about like people using a doctrine of the word and Christianity and things like that but we cannot be listening to everybody in this season like in this time we really have to silence ourselves and silence the voices of even those people that we trust and really tap in and listen to whatever it is that the Holy Spirit is calling us to do now I want to do a part two on this subject because I was sent out daggers and word curses by people who were my family members and I want to tell you guys how that looked and how that happened so that you guys don't end up succumbing to the daggers that are sent out because it's coming from somebody who's close to you. It's, it's easy to throw away the opinions of people you know are naysayers, people you know are quote unquote haters or people who you feel like who you know are ungodly. But what about when it's coming from your family members or coming from your friends? Do you still know how to reject those things as well? Or do you want to people please your family and succumb to whatever it is that they're telling you to do? So make sure you guys watch part two. Subscribe to my channel so you guys can get notified when... No, and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when I post part two. But I really want to share that with y'all. That's something that's a little bit more touchy and more personal. But it's something that with the Holy Spirit I'm able to be. Thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure you guys watch part two. I love y'all. God bless y'all. Have an amazing day. Bye.